let's talk about a recent incident that took place with Ubuntu's repositories, where they went down for about 35 minutes, causing massive delays and issues, and of course, user frustration. A lot of people didn't even know that that was happening in the background, so today we're gonna investigate what actually happened. So on the Ubuntu Discourse, which is the official discussion forum for the Ubuntu community, there's a user named Patty Landau who posted, is there a problem with the archive.ubuntu.com repo? Effectively, this first report was on Ubuntu version 24.04. And, and the question was, is there a problem with the gb.archive.ubuntu.com repo by any chance? And then showed a screenshot of what happened when they did sudo apt upgrade. And we can see here in the picture that the user got stuck on the gb.archive.ubuntu. Anyways, this normally takes no more than a few seconds. I can confirm that my internet connection is working normally. I'm using the same machine to create this post. And what they've tried is restarting the command and waiting for a long time. So Patty here wasn't the first user or the last to start reporting things as people started piling up with similar issues. With over 74 posts here, we're not gonna go through them all, but it was quite interesting. Basically, the symptom here was if you're experiencing long wait times with the archive or security pocket repos, well, that was because those two repos were down. And that's not uncommon for Canonical and Ubuntu, as they do have a status page where you can check out what's going on. Most recently, September 12th, there was an outage on certain websites here, and they keep you updated. And then below, you can also tell whether or not all the component statuses are either under maintenance or operational, or there's something wrong. So if you ever have issues, you can check out this status page, which I'll put a link in the description below if you didn't know about it. It's definitely a place to start and check if you suspect an outage. Either way, we can see that a couple of the places in question are the Ubuntu Security API and the archiveubuntu.com. Well, I don't know why it's at 100% because we've experienced outages, of course, over the last couple of weeks. Regardless, it might only be looking back a week or so. We also have a Snapcraft system status or for the Snap store and snapcraft.io website. This is another place where you can search if you have issues with Snap packages. As you can tell, there have been issues reported over the last week or so from September 8th through September 14th. And it's a big deal when these things go down as there are a lot of people using Ubuntu. Ubuntu is one of the most popular Linux distributions. And when something like this happens, it affects a lot of users. As we're gonna tell, the 35 minutes that the archives and security repos were down, it affected so many people that it took a days to resolve. Let's get into this even more in depth as Ubuntu and the Canonical team acknowledged the fact that there's a massive outage called the current status of Ubuntu update errors, please read. On September 8th, 2025, an update was made. It appears that the mirrors are synced again and normal updates can be performed. Thanks to everyone for being patient and understanding on September 7th, 2025. Update, users are still reporting issues with updates. At this point in time, we have no additional information other than to wait it out. Thanks for understanding. So that's what happened in post because this all started around September 5th of 2025 and lasted all the way through September 8th as even after the resolved mirrors and security updates repos were, were fixed and back up, package publishing queues got jammed up. Users kept seeing 500 errors and broken repos with even failed installations, all sorts of stuff happening and people just kept reporting a largely unstable mirror through Ubuntu. And we'll see here at the time of this post, an answer, September 5th, 2025, at approximately 1040 UTC minus four. It is known to Canonical and many people who are actively working on development, patching, etc., that there was an outage on the primary public repository servers. All security updates and other update pockets were unavailable, which was a massive deal because some users who are trying to do fresh installations, for example, on Ubuntu server, got stuck because of critical packages like the Linux firmware package was unavailable. Mirrors were out of sync and the status was resolved on the upstream, but, but many mirrors hadn't caught quite back up yet. This affects people because the affected servers, including security and archive, are pretty much the backbone for all Ubuntu updates worldwide. When they go down, no one can install or update packages, including critical security package. Even a short outage here is a big fail on Ubuntu's side. All security updates and other update pockets were unavailable and the upload or processing queue for security updates among others were obscenely backlogged as a result of the outage. This was reflected on statuscanonical.com, which I've already showed you as down and down. 
We're going to look into those incidents, but both of these incidents were marked resolved after 36 minutes of outage time at approximately 4.30 UTC minus 4. However, it is known that the backlog caused by an outage is causing the mirrors and security updates to be broken at this time due to the backlog in the queuing for processing. This queue is currently very large and is likely to be issues with mirrors at this time during the update process. As such, you need to be patient and try again several hours from now up to 24 hours from now as well if you want, just to make sure the stuff stabilizes first. And it wasn't just 24 hours, it was more like 48 hours and then some change. There is nothing you can currently do about this except wait it out. Mirrors that synced during the outage time or are mid-sync right now during the large queue backlog may get 500 errors as well on the mirrors which highlights how fragile the canonical server ecosystem really is. There's a single point of failure here in this massive Linux distribution that's owned by a massive corporate company at this point. It's not just an inconvenience, it's a huge infrastructure risk. Imagine all the production systems that were trying to make updates at that time and the fallout after not being able to do so for up to two days. Especially with the security Ubuntu.com repo, it is the source of critical security patches. Even short outage delays cause issues, especially when there are zero day vulnerabilities out there. Enterprises and governments rely on Ubuntu to maintain compliance, so just wait it out is not good enough for real world instances. Why in the world is Canonical's repo infrastructure a centralized bottleneck? Basically, when archive and security repos went down, the entire Ubuntu ecosystem grinded to a halt. Why in the world are we reliant on just a few servers and all we were told is to be patient. It's a little interesting that we didn't have more redundant repository servers. Instead of relying so heavily on these two servers, Canonical could be running multiple servers in parallel, or at least should run multiple geographic distributed replicas with real-time failover. It's surprising that they don't have something like this, and I think this outage here has highlighted a real flaw in their infrastructure as we have a centralized single point of failure as a short hiccup of 36 minutes caused days of instability because of lack and redundancy. Anyways, the team began scrambling as archiveubuntu.com was down. Here's the incident, it's now resolved, and it was a real-time incident with a major outage severity. It affected the entire archive.ubuntu.com repo, which is the primary official package repository for Ubuntu, so you understand why it's so important when it goes down. It's where apt pulls most of their packages when you run things like update, upgrade, and install. And then the secondary one was security Ubuntu. Again, a real-time incident with a major outage. The repo was down for about 36 minutes, which this repo is for critical security patches, as this is where app pulls all the patch versions of packages when canonical issues fixes for vulnerabilities, AKA CVEs. So you can imagine why this is so critical. Any system updates that you wanted to make and the way to keep your system safe from known exploits were both down over several days. And we continue on to what happened on the discourse. They were being so inundated with people posting the same issue that they actually had to enable slow mode. Look at this, enabling slow mode. Me too posts are completely unnecessary. Please read the entire thread before posting and making sure you're not just saying me too, as it adds nothing to the discussion. Well, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think it does add something to the discussion, but should be done a different way. The way it should be done is we should have a way to upvote or at least put our name in the queue for an issue. This brings it to the top of Canonical and Ubuntu's list to actually take a look at. Let's say this post went under the radar. Well, how long would it have taken the team to actually figure out that there were issues with the two repos. Instead, just asking people not to put their experiences and back up a current issue doesn't seem to be the correct way to handle this either. Anyways, please think about what you write and decide if it adds to the conversation or not. If it's just a repeat of what's already been said, please refrain from posting. Refer to the post of Ask Ubuntu by T. Ward. Anyways, this is clearly a place for improvement. Let's forget about harding things. Instead, we have to have a way to easily confirm that we're seeing this issue too even a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, just something to signify to the team that this is a massive or not so much issue. And this became such a big issue to Canonical that they actually closed down the entire topic here on the discourse, which I personally think was a poor choice. Again, they need to address the issue of how people report their issues on a topic 
instead of just saying, don't talk about the topic. Closing this topic, we don't need a bunch of can confirm and me too posts. Instructions were given as to what needs to happen. One, a workaround, and two, what you need to do to get the repos working. You can't. As this looks a little tone deaf and comes off silly, at least for me, again, the outage of archive and security is a global critical infrastructure failure. Shutting down the topic makes it seem like Canonical wants to minimize the discussion rather than open it up about the scale of the problem. The community signal matters here. The post might look nosy, but in real time telemetry, users from different regions are able to tell you whether or not they're having issues as well. Ubuntu is not a hobby project. It's used in banks, hospitals, cloud, dev, and production. So we need to figure out a way to make the transparency and community signal more amplified here without cutting off discussion. Anyways, that's just my thought on it. Let me know what you think about the way this is handled. Anyways, this is a very interesting outage as it created a massive backlog and things played out a little strange in my opinion. On September 5th, again, 2025, canonical servers for both archive and security went down roughly for 36 minutes. Really security went down for 36, archive for less than half that time. And both services did come back online after, but the bigger issue was that the mirrors and the queue processing was overwhelmed. Because of that backlog, users were experiencing failures still to get their packages and this persisted for several days, at least to September 8th. As mirrors caught up, it took a large amount of time to return to normal. And while this incident looked small on the surface with 36 minutes of downtime, it ballooned into days of disruption. This shows not only Canonical, but other Linux distributions, how a tiny outage can ripple towards into many days of issues and how to better communicate to the community, at least in my opinion, protecting against things like this, these short outages with multiple day disruptions, we need to figure out how to create geo-redundant mirrors and have different fallbacks. I know that Fedora partially does this with Mirror Manager. Maybe Ubuntu and Canonical can look into something similar. And if they haven't already, they really need to put in smarter queue and backlog handling, aka prioritize critical security updates over non-essential sync jobs, and then introduce rate limiting and throttling to prevent mirrors from being swamped by massive resync requests. The bottom line here is that there's a lot to learn from with this incident. Please let me know what else you think can be learned from this incident in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe below and smash that like button for more dives into Linux like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.